Now, I don't get to say this too often because I live in Florida. Man, California is beautiful. Just look down the side of the street here. Those cherry blossoms look amazing. It looks so beautiful. Wow. Nestled in the hills of Silicon Valley, there's a small independent company. You may not have heard of it, but if you've ever gone on the internet before, you might have like looked for something on it. It's it's even a term, like if someone says, well, I don't know where it is, why don't you just Google it? That's right, I'm in the headquarters of Google in Mountain View, California. You are here, welcome. And when they were building the Google complex out here, they weren't kidding around. It's seriously like three blocks. Now here's a good question, what is a Google? Now, I believe a Google is thousands of thousands upon thousands of numbers all in a single row, like one zero 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 infinity. But Carl Sagan explains it a lot better than I do in an episode of Cosmos, and I'll link that down here. I think the Google that they're talking about for their company is just Google. But folks, you could always just Google it. Now, I can't confirm or deny this, but you might see that there's tables behind me. now. I've heard of the, the term called the Google bump, where an employee from one section of Google goes to the other section of Google, and they bump their seats, and they look at each other, and they talk to each other, like, hey! And that's a way of spurring ideas. One thing I have to say is the architecture in here definitely spurs in like great ideas, because it's all very creative. The architecture of these buildings are really wild. And if you get a green thumb at Google, they actually have sustainable plants. You can go ahead and look at the plants, figure out what you want to grow in your own garden. You get a very zen feel when you come to Google. Like, you know, this is a calm place. We can have quiet areas to think. Look at that. Google. Maybe if I sit down in this Google chair right here, where I'm supposed to think of new creative ideas, maybe I'll think about a new creative idea that no one's ever thought of before. And now it's just... It's, it's working. It's working. It's working. Won't you subscribe to my channel? Hey, there's a novel idea. <laughs> And if you do have any bad ideas while you work at Google, don't worry, they have a dinosaur that will eat them for you. I need bad ideas. Not only on the Google main campus do they have one Steven Spielberg reference, but they have two. If Captain Chief Brody was here, he'd say to call off the beaches. Close down those beaches. We're gonna have a panic on the 4th of July. If you need to bury yourself, you can just jump on the train right here. The beauty train. One thing that's really awesome and sustainable about Google and its local community is they actually give out their own bikes to their employees. So you could literally just take this for a while, go from one part of Google to another part of Google. Google really does believe in the workplace environment. They have their own football court, their workout courts, tennis court, lifting areas. This place seems pretty awesome. And if you really want to do some hiking, all you have to do is just walk out of that building right there and just walk on up to those hills and boy oh boy, you get some nice hiking and get your blood pumping and thinking about good new ideas. That man up there could be thinking up the newest Google invention. Maybe it'll be Google ball in a cup where you throw a, a Google in the air and catch it in a cup and it's attached to a string. These are the new ideas of the future, my friends. Google is really big. Now, unfortunately, I can't get inside to Google to see everything because I don't have a Google ID because I don't work here, but I really would like to. But if you have any questions, they have the answer. Blech. I gotta say, working at Google sounds really cool. They get their own like yoga instructors they want, they get haircuts while they're here, it's pretty cool. I put in a couple applications myself. Google, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm uploading this on one of your services on YouTube, why don't you go ahead and look at that, the thing that I threw in? You know, you can, just look under Y-U-K-E-N. I'd be happy to come out here and be a part of your company. <laughs> I wonder if this man is looking for knowledge. There, there, giant man. I'm sure you'll find it someday. 
He's strapped to the ground. He's not gonna find anything. <laughs> hey, Ba, look what I can do. 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 And if you're ever by the Google campus, you gotta check out the Computer History Museum. They have a Babbage machine in there, which is a multi geared system that did not work when he first tried to invent it in like the 1800s and they made it like 30 years ago and it takes a guy to crank. There's only two in the world, one's here. They also, if you saw the movie The Intimidation Game, they have a turning device here as well. And it, it, the whole museum is a display of how computers have gone from like sliding rulers to supercomputers. Not trying to rhyme there or anything, but they also have like Pac-Man and like how video games came out, robots. It's really cool. Got to walk onto Google Avenue. I hear the tech is higher. Boom, ba da da da, -da. If you look at Silicon Valley, this is where the newest products are coming out, the newest ideas are coming from. This is where technically, technically, where the music makers live. These are where the dreamers of the dream exist, as Willy Wonka might say. But please don't get depressed. Innovation is all around us. And put on a shirt. No one wants to see those. Sometimes when you walk by the Google offices, you'll see some of their products that they drive around. And when I say they drive, I mean a computer drives because they have driverless vehicles riding around here sometimes. That's the future. If you don't want to drive, you let your computer do it. It's going to take you to Circuit City. Oh no, that closed. There goes one right now. Look at it, it's like a Wayne Zielinski's car. A driverless car. You can get right in there and not have to be behind the wheel. Awesome. One thing I really like about Google is their motto, don't be evil. At least when they were starting off on, as their company, it was an idea of don't try to do things that are nefarious. You want to be a good company. And obviously that has paid off for them. You probably have heard of Google. You probably see a ton of search engines, especially if you grew up with the internet like me. You might have seen like a, like a couple different ones. I used Dogpile for a long time. Now it looks like Dogpile is trying to search for bones where Google has found the bones and is buying everything else. But seriously, you might want to take that don't be evil motto, put in your life. Not that I'm saying that you as a person who's watching this is evil, but you got to watch out. Like think about what you're doing morally. Like are, are you making the right decisions? Are you, would you be proud if someone did what you're doing right now? Though I have to say if you're doing acting, go ahead and do whatever you want because that's a lot of fun. But. Just try to remain positive, try to be the better person, even when it's so hard and it's so easy to just be like, you know what I have to say about what you're doing right now or you know what I could do to you right now? You don't really want to do that because no one wins in that situation. You're just another person yelling. You ever been to a dog park where you see the dogs barking at each other? You're like one of those, like when one dog starts barking and they're all barking, you're like, okay, now we're all doing it. That might be you. I don't want to hear from you. I don't, me, I don't want to hear from your dog. Woof, 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 woof. I want to hear from you. <laughs> so folks, just try your best. Always be good. Always be great to each other. Be kind. Think about the other people in the world. Try to put down a low carbon footprint. And uh, you know, you can do it, I can do it. Obviously Google can do it. So let's all do it. And let's all do it in a peaceful manner where we're all working together as a good society. You guys stay groovy and have a